Welcome to Abbey's Lot and Blog for Sunday, July 28th. I've been down all day today doing absolute loads of work. I'll just do a quick tour. These are the little cherry tomatoes. Remember, I think it was my camp invention to uh, fill the fence up with, uh, with tomatoes, and they are coming, the small ones. Um, I've had a pretty damn good harvest today as well. Uh, I've got these uh, marrows, look, two marrows. The beautiful spring onions are bloody huge. Um, I don't yellow cord yet. Um, and that's a German um, black beetroot. Uh, not beetroot, sorry, uh, radish. Uh, some lettuces there. Uh, some carrots. And some kestrel new potatoes. And then I've got a bag of spinach and a bag of rainbow chard. A real quick tour. It's the end of the broccoli and stuff there. Um, that's the radish grass tails. No crop. I don't know when they're coming. Yeah, no sign of the pods yet. Um, that's the rainbow chard ravish today. Quick little end here. Got some rhubarb to pick that up. Looks to be fruit of trees. A little bit of a tidy up this side last week, but now we've got the later. Um, we have to cut back all that down there. Um, yeah, look, some more little courgettes coming. Yellow courgettes, you see them on these ones. Walk down here. These are what. The, what's left of the broad beans just um, letting the pods go black and what you do is once the pods have gone black take the pods off take the beans out and store them for next year weeded around here that's my run of beans I had a massive run of beans the other day and I, was about, I thought I was going to have a crop today but I ain't any I don't know if somebody's been on a nick me run of beans that's the We've harvested around these pumpkins today as well, so the sugar sweet and the American giant at the back, which I don't know where they are, but I've weeded around them, so hope they'll come. The yellow French beans there, and behind it, some more courgettes. Saw me fish earlier. There's all three of them. There should be four in the pond. No sign of them now, is there? No, can't see them. No, I'm quick to go anywhere else. August. <laughs> Can't keep up on top of weeds. 8 August. <laughs> We've got some collies which are not doing very well around there. These are the edible, we call it flowers. And January king cabbages. They're coming really on. I have to get netting off and get weeding in there though. Then, what this has gone to? Oh, I might put one of them in a minute actually. It's not gone to seed yet, has it? Oh, I'll put one of them. There's some more cabbages, poppies. As I say, we did all that a few weeks ago. It's unbelievable. And we bustle sprouts down there as well. Here is um, some tomatoes I put in the other week. I've actually, this rain's done them good. So, as well as tomatoes inside, probably done all good tomatoes here. This here, I've never grown before. It's, I don't know what you do with it, it's asparagus pea, so I presume you'll pick those like pea pods, I don't know how big they need to get, pick them and presume the taste of asparagus, I don't know. So if anybody knows what you do with them, let me know, I'll have to look up on YouTube later, and they've got a load of kale there. This bit needs uh, weeding, dig it over and get some veg in it for a week, so I've got some some beetroot as I showed you. Um, this is chard as well. Um, 
white silver chard. So I'll rubbish that one next weekend and then behind it there's beetroot. Here we've got the leeks, tons of leeks. Again, we need to work that weed. And here I've got some more cabbages and kale. Kale come in there. That's where the potatoes are. And then I've got some more courgettes and leeks here as well. And this bush is getting there, isn't it? Hopefully I'll have some cops in a few weeks. And then this sweet corn cage again I need to weed. Sweet corn that's coming up. And then this is where I had my uh, beetroot, uh, beetroot uh, radish, the German variety. And I've got a little carrots so I haven't touched the back. And parsnips. In the back as well. Yeah, well. And then you've got some carrots in there. They've done much of those ones. And some tomatoes. And some more leeks. Plums come in. That's down there. Looking alright. So, what's it? I never stop weeding. <laughs> and yeah, I've got my apple tree. You see, some apples coming there, look. Is it ready yet? <laughs> oh, that one, I'll see. Um, and I've got oh, a quick look. Some more apples up there, look, and there they See some more apples here on that tree, and then over here, you see all my plums coming and over there as well. I'm not walking too far under there because <laughs> I need to get the chart. It's all right now, here, don't I? Get a get, get clearing from time for autumn. <laughs> oh. As I say, I don't know how I'm going to get under there to get to the plums. So I'll have to... Oh, what are these? That's my apricot tree. Tiny, aren't they? Didn't realise it was going to crop. <laughs> That's because Sarah tree is just a dump. So what I'm going to do is um, take everything out of there and I'm going to put a nice floor in. Um, get some seating, a nice table in there and turn it into a winter conservatory so I've got a relaxing room um, not going to have it as a greenhouse anymore um, kitchen, gardens, uh, carrots so I'll put them in there quite deep that pot that's be shared again, that needs a good tidy up shameful <laughs> these uh, lettuces I've been picking today tons of them up so they're doing alright Side its sprouts. Yeah, these the um, blackberries are coming. No, I'm just I'm gonna wait until they ripen, and I'm just gonna have to go and cut a what you call it down and walk away, and then hopefully get loads of fruit. Oh, a bit sour. That's me. Strawberry bed in there. Just more chilies coming. That pot is huge, isn't it? <laughs> no wonder I can never keep on top of the weed in. And then in in here. Chilies coming there. Some tomatoes up. Not ripening yet. You can see several different varieties and the tomatoes are coming. And then we've got a lemon and an orange brown tree there. Yeah. Some chilies coming up. Chilies on there as well. And then today I've been sowing ready to um, 
hopefully in about six or seven weeks time these will be ready to go into the ground outside get some winter veg so i've got onion sunshine there i've got one bok there which is a chinese leaf like a chinese leaf cabbage i've got chicory at the back and then i've got salad bowl lettuce lower all those artists to go in and then two different varieties of beetroot there um, and then next week there's a winter sorry next month there's a winter lettuce so maybe start sowing these are these cucumbers just not doing anything <laughs> flowering but nothing coming what's the matter there well that's falling oh look you see him hello you me jump should you be wet pondies <laughs> Scared the booming life out of me there. Oh, you're not eating my crops in here, Toady. <laughs> Make sure stuff here. And I've got cucumbers, train cucumbers over here as well. Yeah, I don't seem to get any veg off it, just. Oh, it says that. Something come in there, look. Some more cucumber. <laughs> that's my aubergines. Again, that go out. Two is at the back. And that's my carrot tub. What's done amazing in here. So, oh, it's no good, though. There's a slug there, look. I'm going to have to get some slug pellets out, I think. Yeah. And then some chilies here. My chilies come in. See that one on that. That's my celery. Some more cucumbers and toms and aubergines. That's me done.